Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's finally December. Well, I say finally, I feel like I've literally blinked and now it's December. And it's been a good couple days of December so far. It's been frosty, freezing, but like in a good way. So this is gonna be a little what I've bought recently haul again, as you can probably tell by the title. I've been Christmas shopping for myself as well as other people, but we've had Black Friday. So it will be mainly clothes as normal, but also a few hair care bits and makeup bits I just wanna mention as well. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think Black Friday was that good, but it does give you an excuse to buy stuff that you've been wanting. The best thing I got in the Black Friday sales was a laptop, which I've not bought up here, but yeah, we didn't have a laptop yet. So we bought, I think it's a HP one, just to like help with editing and stuff like that. So getting straight into it, one thing I wanted to include in this video hasn't arrived and I have got an email to say like every I've got it but I don't know if it's coming today. It might do but I don't really want like wait around to film the video. So I might just put a picture of it here. I don't even know if it's going to fit because I did have to get a bigger size. I'm hoping it does but it's just so pretty like the blue bows of the little like flower detail I'm obsessed. I really hope it fits. I was just thinking this could also be kind of like a little Christmas gift guide like if you're struggling for presents for people. Some of this stuff might be helpful. So I'm gonna start with hair care bits. Now, hair care is a struggle for me. So I'm not into like hair care that much. Like I don't do anything with my hair, but that's what annoys me because I've never dyed it. I don't put heat on it apart from a hairdryer like now and again. And it's so like dead and broken. So I've found a new shampoo and conditioner that I'm trying out. So I've tried well, I really like Olaplex, but I don't use that every day. So I use Olaplex now and again. And then as my like other shampoo and conditioner, I was using the Red Ken volume one. It's the one in the pink bottle, which I do like. But I picked up the Red Ken Extreme in the Black Friday sale. because I think this is normally like £40 and it was down to 20 And this is my new favourite. Like I'm absolutely loving it. I've used it this morning and like it's not quite dry to be honest, but... It makes your hair so soft like as soon as you put it in in the shower and use it you can really feel how soft your hair is gonna be so yeah these are the ones that i got and i probably will stick with these ones now unless they like turn bad on me because sometimes i do buy shampoo and conditioners and then i use them a few times and they don't work as well but i'm hoping this one stays good and then the only other like hair that i've got is a hair dryer so i got it on amazon by the way the red can stuff i got off look fantastic but I'm assuming that their sale will be over. But yeah, I had to buy a new hairdryer because one I had, which was one I just like took from home when I moved out, it was like a Tresemme one, just like blew up on me, like literally, it was scary. So I thought, I'm gonna need to use a hairdryer now and again, so I had to buy a new one. So I found this babyless pink one on Amazon. I think I paid like 20 something pound and it was down from like 50. But it's just simple, like it doesn't do anything fancy, but you've got just like the different powers, temperatures, and then the cold setting, and that's all I need. So this one is like a really good basic hairdryer. And then just quickly moving on to makeup. I'm not gonna show you absolutely everything because I bought a lot of makeup and I basically just stocked up on things I was running out of. So I bought stuff from Glossier, Glossier. I I don't wanna get grilled how I say Glossier, but it's just so much easier to say Glossier, so I'm gonna stick with it. So I bought my mascara which I always like it's the only mascara I use it's the lash slick one and then I also got the milky jelly cleanser as like a free sample and I love that cleanser but one new thing I did get was the ultra lip and it's in the shade lucite lucite I don't know how to like properly pronounce it but this is insane I've got it on right now so I've got the refi lip liner in blush just like around the edges of my lips and then I've put the ultra lip like all over and it's this really nice pink shade I really wanted like a lighter pink because I wish Refai um, Lip Sculpt did more shades to be honest because I want like a lighter one but I love this so it's meant to like hydrate act as like a gloss and it's not sticky at all so I literally love it I've tried like so many lip oils and lip glosses but honestly I think I'll keep going back to this and then from Refai I basically just did stock up i'm just keeping it all in this little pouch that it came in because i'm still like using like it all but it's all, i've almost run out of it all so i don't want to like open this all up yet so i got the bronzer in shade june and dune 
and I got the Refi blush in shade Rose. Why was that such a challenge for me? So yeah, bronzer in shade Dune and blush in shade Rose. Oh my God. And then I got the Refi Lip Sculpt in blush, of course. Also wearing that now. And then they chucked in a little gift, which was cute. So I've got this little pouch, which is a little Refi. Oh, my fingerprints are just put on that. We can't be having that. So yeah, we just got a little mirror and then they also put in the highlighter or illuminator, which I have also already got, so I'm not opening this yet. So moving on to clothes. Now, I've been so lucky this month so far and I received so much PR yesterday, but I don't really want to include it all in here because this is meant to be stuff I've bought, but I will include stuff at the end from one brand because I just feel like it does really fit the vibe and it's stuff I would have bought myself anyway. Okay, I'm going to start off with a pair of jeans, I'm not in my pyjama bottoms while I'm trying all the tops on. So I got these grey jeans from Zara. I have been seeing grey jeans everywhere at the moment and I was like, I actually need a pair. And I just love wearing pink and grey together. I, I say that so much, but I was wearing pink so much and I was like, if I wear grey jeans rather than the blue, all these outfits would look so much cuter. So I saw these Zara ones quite a bit on TikTok, but they were out of stock. Then they came back in in my size so I got a size 4 in these and they're the perfect fit like I'd say these are actually true to size because I know Zara can be a bit like off with their sizing but I think these are true to size and they are baggy ones but they're not as baggy as like my other jeans which I kind of like because like it's nice to have a variation but I don't want them to like get any less baggy in the wash like they're okay as they are I don't want them any tighter they are also a tiny bit, I say a tiny bit, they're quite long on me. So I do have to roll them up when I go out, but I'm 5'3", so it's just something to bear in mind. But they're not, like, too long. I'm literally treading on all my clothes. But these are what they look like, like, the perfect fit around the waist. They're a little bit tighter up here, and then they're, like, fairly baggy at the bottom. They're just the perfect grey jean, honestly. Like, I'll put the link in the description for everything. I actually didn't realise how much I'd wear grey jeans but I literally haven't taken them off since I bought them like I've worn them with every outfit obviously Zara is not the cheapest but these are definitely worth it okay I'm gonna move on to jumpers next so I've got my new favorite like hoodie sweatshirts I've got two from sisters and seekers they're insane if you need a good hoodie or sweatshirt go to sisters and seekers and then I also got a knit jumper from ASOS, which I'm unsure on, so I don't know if I'm keeping it yet, but I think I will, I think I will keep it, but I need to try it on again, which I will in a sec. Okay, so starting with Sisters and Seekers, this one I'm so scared to try on because the neck is so small and I'm just bound to get makeup on it. I'm going to try my best not to. And I'll link these, I can't remember the names, but I know this one's in the shade Balm and it's a sweatshirt with pockets. I think that is such a good edition like when I found out it had pockets it made my day and then it's just got the print on there which I just think is so pretty this is the best quality sweatshirt that I have I did just get makeup on it but it could have been so much worse so this is in a size extra small which is the smallest size that they do and yeah it's nice and oversized on me it's basically the perfect oversized fit and it's like fluffy on the inside like it's so thick and warm i'm obsessed with it i especially love it with the gray jeans like i love this as an outfit i wore this as an outfit recently and i just thought i should have added little pink bows to the belt loops of my jeans just to add a bit of pink as always and the second one i got from sisters and seekers is a hoodie this one actually only arrived like yesterday i think and it's again one of my favorites so it's this a grey one, I think this shade is called Billow and again it's fluffy on the inside and then on the letters here it's like a fluffy material. Right luckily this one is grey but if you have a size extra small, I don't know if it's the same with all the sizes, in Anything Sisters and Seekers, how do you get it on without getting makeup on it? Like I'm gonna have to make sure I always put it on before doing my makeup because the neck like holes are just too small but anyway this is what the hoodie looks like this is also in a size extra small i do feel like this one is slightly smaller than the sweatshirt but at the same time if i sized up i don't think like this bit would look right i think that would be too baggy so it's kind of like the perfect fit for me anyway but 
I have noticed this one just runs a little bit smaller. Uh, a hoodie with hair down is like not the vibe, but the hoodie like is such good quality. You know you can sometimes get those hoodies and it's like the hood is just so thin. Like this one's nice and thick and it's got the little pouch here. So I even like this one with the jeans to be fair because like this grey matches that grey really well. I think I'm just a bit grey obsessed at the moment. I am actually getting some grey shoes for Christmas so I'm going to literally be grey on grey on grey for the foreseeable. Okay so now the knit jumper which is the one I'm not 100% sure on. So it's this blue knit one from ASOS. I think this is Brave Soul. Let me check. Yeah it's by the brand Brave Soul. So I work in an office and I'm thinking this might be good for that or to like tuck up under like your bra and wear with jeans but it's quite a high neck and it doesn't look right if you roll it over and it's not the softest material like it's not like uncomfortable but it's like I've got a pink one here from H&M which is like so so soft and compared to this this is just not okay it looks like I'm in a neck brace and I don't like it just hanging down I need to try tucking it up but this is like what it's like just hanging down <sighs> right now i'm thinking this needs to go back because what is this but then i do kind of like it tucked up like this and like this would keep you warm like do i keep it for practical reasons and like dog walks or will i just not wear it because i just don't know how to feel about this but I do like it tucked up like that. Like, I think that looks cute. Okay, anyway, moving on to tops. So I've got two here from ASOS. So the first one is this pink bow top. ASOS have been on it with the, like, bow tops and everything recently. If you, like, go onto their new inn, and they recently had a big restock on, like, all of it. It's just a long sleeve, and then it's got ruching up one side. One, I can't talk today. One side, and then it's got two bows like so i've gone all blotchy now from trying on all those jumpers but this is what the bow top looks like this one is asos design i've not even taken the labels off it yet but i think this is so pretty and i just have so many like pink accessories that this will go so well with and again i love it with the gray jeans it's in a size extra small and it fits perfectly and i really like the ruching so this is definitely a keep and then we've got this green top by cotton on but i got it on asos and it's got like a really low back and it's just like a little basic really i really like the straight neckline on it with the low back and the color's super nice as well also this was literally eight pounds and they do it in so many colors i think i've seen it in white and black i don't know what others they do i love this one and i love this as a whole outfit again but this one's in a size extra small ideally i would have gone for the extra extra small but this one fits like pretty much fine it's just a tiny bit bigger here on the sleeve and then this is the back so i am wearing a bra with it like it's not so low that you can't wear a bra with it but you can see the straps a little bit but yeah it's just like such a good basic it's kind of more of a summer top but i thought for eight pounds i didn't want to miss out on it and then the last couple things I want to show you um, is what I was talking about earlier in the video where I said there was some gifted things. So they're actually from Motel and I really don't know how that's happened, but I'm so grateful. So I was able to pick out two tops. Um, it's like a collab on TikTok with them, but I just wanted to include them in this video because like I 100% would have just ended up buying these anyway. These are both in a size extra small i think yeah both in a size extra small and they're similar vibes to be fair so there's this black mesh one which is long sleeve and i think it's off the shoulder i'll try it on in a second and then there's this black mesh one or black lace one and it's got a little bow at the front a little frill detail at the bottom and then it ties crisscross at the back I feel like both of these are quite good options for like Christmas parties or even like New Year's or if you dress up on Christmas Day, that kind of thing. So this is the long sleeve mesh one. This is even better than I thought it was going to be. I love like the asymmetric detail. It's just like what I love right now. Off the shoulder, asymmetric, mesh, lace, like that is my vibe at the moment. And again, no surprise, but everything 
just goes with these jeans. I love this one, it's so cute. Oh, it's just perfect. Obviously, I've still got all of the labels in, so it looks a bit funny at the moment, but that's what the back looks like. It's like got the crisscross ties, and I love the little frill, it fits perfectly. And obviously, you can tie this one like tighter and looser, so you don't have to be as strict on the sizing. But yeah, I just thought I'd include both of them because how could I not include motel stuff? So I hope you enjoyed this haul of like what I bought in Black Friday and what I've just bought recently in general. I will try and link everything I can down below as always. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I've got like some collabs over on both of those platforms coming up and on Instagram there's like a really nice brand haul gonna be up on there with like little knit jumpers and cute tops. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.